Hello folks, Jason Christman here of JC's Bees, and today we're going to discuss caging the queen bee and a few attendants. This is one of those things in beekeeping that you don't just hop into. Um, if you do hop right into it and decide just to go full bore and throw the queen in the cage, you're liable to get stung. You're liable to get stung quite a few times. You're liable to kill the queen. Maybe you squeeze her too hard. Maybe you uh, rip off her wing or tear off her leg. Whatever it may be. It's not an easy task and there's a little bit of skill and training to be done before you just jump in. So today we're going to break down these steps and I'm going to show you a little bit of what you need to know before you just jump right in and grab your queen. A lot of people do not realize that the queen stinger is not barbed. And since it's not barbed, she's able to sting repeatedly. Now, for the last few years, I've been caging queens, uh, getting better and better, just like anything else. The more you do it, the better you get. Um, and I've never been stung by the queen. It's usually the attendants that just give you the attitude. But I have come to find that when you pick up that queen, you stick her in her cage, most times... I get workers that crawl onto my fingers right around the queen. So I take the queen, head first, stick her into the cage. She usually walks right in. And then from there, I just take my finger or thumb wherever the worker bee is and hold it up to the entrance. And usually they follow the queen right in. So there's no actual grabbing of a worker bee to stick her in there. Um, in the past, when I've grabbed the worker bee, yes, they sting me. Do I like it? No. Um, so from there, I've just kind of experimented and realized it's your best just to let them climb on your fingers and let them climb in. If the worker does not go in and the queen turns around and come back out, you need to put your finger over the hole to block her in. But at the same time, be careful that you don't put your finger over the hole with her head out and cut it off because obviously... I would recommend for anybody that wants to get into caging queens and selling them or even caging them for their own personal use to just get used to touching the bees. Remove a frame of bees. Take your finger and stick right in the bees and just move them around. Um, you'll find that bees don't mind being touched. It's when they feel threatened that they get defensive. So before you venture into caging your queens, practice Touching the bees. Lay your hand on top of the frames real gently. Let the bees crawl onto your hand. Get used to that, that feeling of the bees touching you and you touching them. That's where you want to start. Okay, so what we have here is a California queen cage. Pretty simple. Easy to use. And very effective. What we have here is a plastic tube filled with fondant. And you can buy these in bags already made up. And they're made specifically for the California queen cage. Once you get your queen and your attendants in there, this is your candy plug. You're done. Just that simple. And there she is. Right chair. And right here is our queen. Here we have her. Take her on the page. And she's done. Just that quick, folks. Try and hold it so you can see it. You got the queen bee and two attendants. So thanks for watching, folks. And if you like the video, please take time to give me a thumbs up. That will help boost this video in the YouTube search ranks so more beekeepers can find it. Also, down in the description below the video, 
you'll find some of the clean rearing essentials that I use very often. Um, if you have any questions or comments about anything that I stated here in this video, please leave it in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer your any questions that you have. And uh, like I said, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you.